Okay, so the uh, 2016 Garage Queen, otherwise known as a GMC Acadia, is uh, not really throwing codes, but uh, this thing will tell you everything you ever wanted to know, how the car feels, what the temperature is outside, if it's got an icy condition, drive with caution. This thing has got more garbage on it than you could possibly fathom. It is unbelievable. <clears throat> I've never seen a vehicle with so much crap. Anyways, once you get past the garbage in this thing, <clears throat> uh, you can finally start to work on it. So anyways, first of all, it said the rear AWD all-wheel drive isn't working. So I thought, okay, there's a viscous coupler in the back here. I can't remember quite where it is. I think it's around it coming in off the drive shaft onto the diff. So they're notorious for shredding. And then you can spend thousands of dollars on these vehicles to fix that viscous coupler. Like seven to ten thousand dollars. <clears throat> Anyways, then all of a sudden it said the front AWD wasn't working. So you had the back wheels, so it was like driving an older vehicle where they were rear wheel drive. So then it would go away if you stopped the car, shut it off, turn it back on, it'd go away. Sometimes they'd go away while you're driving. So I'm like, okay, something's loose. I wonder if this is tied into the ABS sensors and it's uh, counting the tone ring pulses on the tone rings on the ABSs and there's some wheel slip thing. So anyways, I drove it up on the illegal car ramps and it's blocked on both back tires plus in park plus the e-brakes on so don't like the ramps but to get the creeper under this thing you need to so I checked the tone rings and it's fine so anyways I thought I'd check the battery so naturally a guy would go under the hood well, I haven't worked on this vehicle for a while except to do an oil change there's a positive post terminal here for uh, like boosting purposes. So anyways, I knew the battery was hidden. So I, I got a test, I got a tester in my toolbox out and I plugged it in to see if that was probably the problem. So there we are. So the battery is weak. Last time I plugged in this yellow lights wasn't coming on. So anyways, Finally remembered where the battery was. It's under the seat here in the back, of course. The first place a person would look. So here it is. Got the multimeter out. And it's 11.7 uh, volts. So that's pretty low for a 12-volt uh, battery. Turn the vehicle on. Voltage jumps up to... I uh, can't remember if it's 13.6 or 14 four or something but the alternator appears to be working fine so anyways hopefully we can just change the battery on it maybe someday if somebody sees this and they're experiencing the same problem with the awd like we are having uh where the all-wheel drives disengaging and re-engaging and this ends up being the problem they'll know to change the battery rather than take it into the dealer and I've read all sorts of horror stories online. Of course, it's online, so you got to take that with a grain of salt. People changing all four ABS sensors, changing modules. Uh, of course, I've read about that viscous coupling in the back here. So, anyways, we'll get the Garage Queen a new battery, and then uh, hopefully. Uh, that problem will go away. If not, I'll probably uh, have part two of this uh, with what I eventually find.